The Airport Collaborative Decision Making, or ACDM concept, was developed with a view to enhancing the quality of both airport and network operations through the sharing of accurate information. The CESAR definition phase identified the need to build upon ACDM in order to improve situational awareness amongst the airport partners and reinforce the collaborative decision-making process. Within CESAR, all airport stakeholders, including airlines, the airport operator, the air navigation service provider, ground handlers and de-icing agents will have access to a common information source, referred to as the Airport Operations Plan, or AOP. The AOP will also be the principal means by which the integration of airports into the overall ATM network will be achieved. This film provides a brief insight into the key elements of the CESAR Airport Operations Management concept. In order to further study the concept behind the AOP and the move toward airport performance monitoring, Eurocontrol and the SIAC Airports Consortium have provided specification requirements for a fast-time simulation model called CAST. CAST, developed by the Airport Research Centre in Aachen, Germany, contains a complete airside and landside infrastructure, a high-fidelity representation of the flow of passengers through the various processes within a terminal, as well as an accurate representation of the turnaround activities associated to an aircraft. The AOP is a rolling plan, continuously updated and enriched with new information, either automatically or through stakeholder input directly into the plan. In this way, all airport stakeholders, both within the airport and the wider ATM network, have access to a single source of information. CESAR is a trajectory and performance-based concept, relying on a full interaction between all ATM actors. The Airport Transit View, or ATV, has been introduced to improve stakeholder situational awareness and to provide the link between the AOP and the network through the sharing of relevant data in a timely fashion. The ATV describes the visit of an aircraft to an airport as a trajectory, covering the arrival, turnaround and subsequent departure. It provides an updated view of the key timestamps to the airport stakeholders and the network manager. In this example, the passenger throughput and waiting time at the security control are continuously monitored. When certain thresholds, previously agreed as part of the airport performance steering, are exceeded, an appropriate alert can be raised. Similarly, key processes such as boarding, deboarding or passenger transfer can be monitored in order to identify in advance the risk of a potential compromise to the expected departure time for a flight. This information, in the form of a warning, can be provided through the AOP to the concerned airspace users who then may take actions, contributing to improving the overall operations predictability. The CESAR Airport concept, related to airport operations management, will be built around the collaborative decision-making process and the AOP. The CESAR partners are working on defining four key services. Performance steering, developing the plan and defining the performance targets. Performance monitoring, highlighting deviations when comparing the performance in the execution phase against the targets defined by the performance steering. Performance management, addressing deviations and taking remedial action. And finally, post-operations analysis as a robust support process. The concept also envisages, particularly in larger airport, that these four key services will be managed and coordinated as part of the Airport Operations Centre, or APOC. The functioning of the APOC will not be unlike that of an airline's operations centre, but it will bring together the main airport stakeholders and will be the platform for stakeholder communication and coordination, based on shared knowledge. It will be equipped with a real-time monitoring system, a decision support system, 
and a set of collaborative procedures, which will ensure a fully integrated management of landside and airside processes. The APOC will be the essential link between the airport and the ATM network manager, and will be the entity responsible for airport performance management. These building blocks will be validated within the CESAR program using shadow mode and live trials based on prototypes delivered by our industrial partners. This simulation study has been one of the first steps in this process. It brought concepts delivered on paper into an environment appropriate to testing their feasibility. The confidence gain will help us to go forward in the next iteration of the validation lifecycle.